Alright, it is Zemolov here, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, where we continue our solo necromancer run. And um, I will be um, finishing off the Act 2 um, by doing some crafting. I was thinking of jumping straight into the Act 3, but um, a bit like... A bit like there in the middle of Act 2, I will have a little bit of a crafting session here, because I do want to make myself some uh, some runes. Uh, while at it, I will also do some, um, do some scrolls as well. The problem is I did kill a couple of the merchants who could have, uh, who could have been selling the stuff, but uh, maybe, um, maybe we will, uh, we will limit it. So instead of uh, jumping into the act free right away I will um, I will wrap up the thing by uh, crafting some things and also I guess clearing my inventory a bit because I have um, I have all the loot here I didn't sell last time um, but yeah uh, I want more of these uh, more of these flame runes so I guess that's uh, that's what I need to do. And this... Okay, I was uh, just seeing this ring here, the prophecy. Um, I'm not going to use it because I have Wits and Warfare from the Long Claw I'm using, so let's sell that. Mm. This Cosmic Coat looks good as well. But I like I like the stats on the, on the one I have, so let's keep on using that. Everything else is probably probably something I can sell. So let's go let's go deal with that. I just noticed I also also have a lot of money, so definitely not don't need to be. Uh, that's careful with uh, the amount of money because when you are playing a solo character, you get so much, so much um, loot compared to how much money you need for a single character for the skill books and gear. That uh, you just uh, you just get so much. So let's uh, let's cash in, cash in with more or less everything. I don't need right now. Also checking my checking my list. Uh, I'm not going to need those those ingredients. I have quite a lot of healing potions, so we don't need that. I don't need the grenades anymore. Little flask can go. Smoke grenade can go. That's gonna go. Do I do I need these? Haven't been really, really using them, so I guess I guess I don't need it. We'll keep that. Then I have a couple of uh, let's sell the ones I already know, and let's uh, then identify the others. So we did we did did quite a lot of murdering at the end of the previous parts, basically wrapping up, doing a clean up in Act Two, getting the max XP out of the region, killing everyone who uh, who gave gave us uh, XP. Hey, the nerdy fellow. It is 10, uh, 10 a.m. for me, so it is it is not that early for me. But yes, I've been doing this in a couple of the past. Past Saturdays, well, more or less the whole October, and I kind of liked it, so uh, let's keep this going. Over Hydro, just checking these rings here as I'm, as I'm selling them. Uh, intelligence. This talisman is kind of borderline better. Is it 
I will lose a little bit of warfare on that if I change on that, but I might might actually change into that. Oh, that was actually a little bit, little bit extra already compared to how much money. Yeah, but you are you are gaining so much money. I just gained twenty thousand from the loot, loot I got from the miscellaneous NPCs. So it's a amount of gold is just uh, just ridiculous. Uh, just checking if he has anything, anything for me that could be could be useful. I could take some source orbs if I uh, if he is short on cash actually I can always always use those let's actually take one of those one of those people that uh, they are uh, so I don't need gold that much so let's sell those Identify the stuff I have. And it will sell them. The currently the belt is belt is a gear I'm already set with the May Balin belt from uh, from the Necromancer. Necromancer Trader is the is the best one. Best one I can have. So let's take those. So I have a 937 there. Let me uh right, I'm selling that one. Not sure if I will use these um, these herb mixes, but on the other hand, the way they are, especially these potent ones. They uh, they might might be handy, but I'm not sure if I can actually smoke them anywhere. After this, um, after this act, but they don't wait anything, so I will, uh, I will keep them for, uh, keep them for now. Uh, I don't need that hit anymore. I'll add it also, also organizing my inventory here. Let's put that there. Okay, so let's. I change into that one. Take that rune out of it. 924. If I put a rune back in it. Uh, just for comparison. Same size. Okay, so I am I'm losing losing a little bit my <coughs> a little bit of damage compared to even that this is uh, this is a bigger one. So let's uh, let's continue using the one I have. Hey there, Flopsy Doodle. You're still awake at two a.m., Viper Kitty. Well, sometimes, sometimes I stay uh, stay up way way more than I should. Okay, so what we need is actually if we could combine these. Now I'm confused. I have, have one giant here. All right, I, I should have paid attention. I actually had a giant one connected to this one that I could have could have at any moment put into this frame of power. Right. Yeah, because these are the ones we want because this gives plus three intelligence when when used and uh, when I actually use it in. Uh, in an amulet, it also gives a plus six um, critical chance. So I could still use 
a um, couple of more of these ruins. So let's, uh, let's see. I think I have the recipe for that, so I don't have to have to do it myself. So runes, giant flame rune combined because I do have the pixie dust, but I don't have don't have the frame for that. So. Let me double check Shame that you didn't have one for behind. sale. I feel so at home among the graves. You do have. Nice. So let's take that. So that's one more. So all of these are increasing my intelligence even further, which is brilliant. Giant one, combine. And then we can put it in. Actually, the fire fire resistance is not that uh, not that relevant. Relevant, but we will be will be getting the plus three intelligence. So uh, intelligence getting higher and higher, which is great. Okay, but now we would need a quite a lot of these ones to uh, the flame rooms to actually actually get more build. But let's see if I can find some more. I just start realized, yeah, okay, it's a game audio is on because last Saturday I I did forget my uh, my game audio. Game audio in the beginning. Uh, Be on your what way are you, now, what are you selling? Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss again later. You are selling you're selling spells, okay. Traders for stuff. Uh, hate scrolls, yes, please. Uh, everything else on this guy might have some some pants or um, headgear that could be useful for me. He doesn't sell any rune stuff, so yeah, I'm not interested in those. Back again, eh? Looking for anything in particular? Have it your way. Back for a return visit, are you? Nothing special ah, there. Got yourself situated. Yep, yep. Keeping it together, and Bree. Then, um... Glad to see you well. Ingredients. I think I just bought bought the ingredients already, so she's not selling any of those. She has mystical frames, not uh, not the power frames, so we're not interested in the, in those. I will pick up the glaze. Um, let's pick up that one. I'll need that in a moment. Mm. Sadly, they don't. Uh, they started selling fancy letters at some points. I should have bought more feathers when uh, when I was still on a lower level. It's my toes. Until later, then. I want to. I uh, want to get some honey. Honey done, just in case I want to do. Uh, Want to do some intelligence boosts? For that, let's uh, let's go check uh, the upstairs of the of the inn. Some corpses laying around here. It was not me. It was not me. It was actually me. Okay, I wanted to check uh, check this one. This was uh, Niles' room here. Of course, I remember that there were some uh, some honey jars here. So let's pick up those. And uh, I also wanted to pick up these, the rat tails, for crafting. Ok, 
Okay, I wonder is the is the toy sword does that count as a dagger or yeah it does, okay. So what I'm looking for is pieces of wood. And uh, actually these um, these toy wooden blocks and such they might seem kind of obscure, but they actually count as wood for crafting purposes. So let's get those. I think the wooden you doll. You can trust. Wooden doll is also right, the right. same. Right. And I'm saying. Also acts as a, as wood. A uh, the wooden figurine away. as well. And I will test that careful, if if it know? is actually if that. Can get an then can wooden yeah, doll there as well. Uh, I was hoping to get some pillows here because they would they would be feathers that I could use for teleportation Chris uh, teleportation scrolls. Let's check this side. This is actually the key I was looking for, to looking for this uh, this chest earlier. Levelly hidden in the corner. Okay, I don't don't really need those, so I'll sell those. Okay. Anything special here. Again, uh, just uh, just checking if there's some uh, Something I could use for crafting doesn't seem so. Okay. Let's check the dwarf. Dwarf here. I think he was he was possibly selling. Say nothing to no one, but I'm doing Loar's good work too. I'll be helping the pallies here with their uprising in arcs. Hasn't sold anything else. I think I already bought everything from him, so he doesn't have anything new at the moment. He does have a wooden figurine, so if that actually works, that will be great. Mm. Nothing else on him, so let's get that. Okay, before I go, before I go further, let's test if that actually works. So there's always oil here in Lady Vengeance, and if you combine Check the, check the crafting recipe. If you combine wood, wood pixie dust, and oil, you will um, you will craft uh, one of uh, one of these ones, the small uh, small flame rune. So let's see if that actually works. If I pick that up, we'll take we combine this with. One of the wooden blocks, uh, and then uh, pixie dust. So pixie dust is uh, there. Let's see if this works. Okay, it does. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very good. So any any source of wood, usually you get them if you. Uh, if you split uh, split a log, for example, you get this wooden wooden uh, pulp, I guess. But it's it's really nice that uh, it actually actually works for any one of them. So now I don't have to think about what wood source I have. I'm actually sh probably short on the pixie dusts with that. Shame I had to leave the stone garden Let's behind. get some pixie dust I because I'd seen home among the graves. No, you don't have it. Okay. So now I now I know that works. So let's go to the square. It's every one every giant one I craft, they will be plus three intelligence. When I get the Glad to see you well. When I get uh, rune frames. So I think you were selling you only only have the superior. Okay, this this might become the moment 
might become the moment where we actually... Did you just renew your inventory? Did I not, did I not check those? Okay. We might come into a place where we actually have the crafts, the pixie dust, which is kind of kind of unfortunate because uh, if they if they just sell the superior, we might be might be crafting the stardusts and stuff. Uh, that is fine. I only need so much of the superior to actually combine them. I might as well buy it now because I might might need it later. So let's get those. Until later then. Yeah, we'll go back here because I forgot to forgot to buy the pixie dust. Then I can combine. Combine the small ones into medium, the mediums one into large, and the mediums into giants. Say nothing to no one, but I'm doing Loar's good work too. I'll be helping the pallies here with their uprising in art. Okay, at least, at least we have that. Oh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Will I actually be short on pixie dust? Yeah, this is this is one of the things about this game. Because when the, when the merchants level, it's great that you get your uh, you start to get your better better gear, but they also stop selling the lower level stuff. And uh, when it comes to crafting, it's kind of a, actually a bad thing. Um, so is it really so that they they no longer sell? The normal stardust, that is actually that is actually a bummer if that is the case. Definitely something I should have uh, should have looked at before, but I kinda thought I would get be getting more enough of the rules without without doing any of that. While doing that, let's see if was there some uh, some scrolls I could make. Uh, one more haste, I can do that. And then I've been collecting the raw lumpy keep, uh, keyplets so that I can create living on the edge scrolls. So let's uh, let's craft those. The medium ones I don't yet have. Those ones there. I know there is a guy in the under tavern who sells ingredients, so let's check him. Um, I did kill did kill that one merchant already. So let's talk to the lizard lizard dude here. To your own nightmares, I pray you tend. So he, uh, he does in seal, but yeah, same same problem here. The wooden figurines, that's great. But he doesn't sell the normal pixie dust anymore. That is, that is so annoying. He does, he does have one feather, so that's good. We can get a teleportation uh, scroll out of that. We get nether swap out of the, out of the chanterelle. Clay gets me some earthquake scrolls. I wonder if I can use the superior superior pixie dust to actually instead of the normal pixie dust because then uh, it just means more money, which is not economical. But I uh, I have the money, so it doesn't matter. So I think I will test that. So what I what I can do. Let's try with that superior one. And I do have Stardust Herbs, okay, that's good. I 
think this doesn't need any more combining than the modern pistol, so I can do these. But that's good. Been collecting some them over over time here. Stardust there, bone dust there, so that's good. Combine the stardust with bone dust, and that will give me the pixie dust, which is great. It's actually part of the part of the runes, yes it is. So let's make that. And I combine that's one, that's one with the pixie dust. Combine the medium one with the medium one, still with that one, so that will make one large. So then I still need more. So let's see. Good. It's quite tedious to do this, so it's kind of ideally you would kind of do this over over time as you basically saving saving the things you need, trying to trying to remember that you actually actually need that. Uh, You actually need to collect certain things, so you would be picking up pixie dusts, uh, wooden pieces, whatever, and making these runes, runes over the over the time of the playthrough. Hey, it's a ill work. Hey there, Prilano. I'm starting starting today by making some flame runes as many as I can before I leave to act free. So we have a little bit of a crafting. Crafting session going on. Okay, as, as I have plenty of the plenty of the wooden stuff if I can find some pixie dust somewhere. So right now I'm I could still create a couple of pixie dusts with the stardust I have. Let me test if this works or not. If I combine that one with that one, and as said, while it's not not economical, does that still work? No. I need a normal one. That is that is actually a, not a great thing. I do have bone there, so I will uh, I will use that to make bone dust. I actually get one. Okay, so if I get one, one pixie dust somewhere, I can I can make one giant. So then I would be just one rune short at the moment. Actually, two, two short. Okay, so especially with these new gears from the relics of Rivalon that have the rune slots, um, you can uh, you can use so many more. So many more uh, runes that uh, don't seem to get enough of them. Enough of them with normal means. Okay, um, I do have some stuffs there that I can uh, I can use to make some scrolls. So let's combine. 
at animal scales with a source orb, and this is actually one of the most powerful things you can create. Animal scale, source orb, and, and a sheet of paper as usual. You can create skin craft scrolls, uh, which are, of course, pretty pretty insanely powerful, because I could I could have like crazy turns if I craft these, so uh, I'm not going to use them too much, but at least uh, I now have the possibility to do it. And then I do want to make the nether swaps. Uh, let me see, did I have uh, high quality air? Alright, that was the one thing I haven't for some reason run into. High quality air is just been just been missing. I just don't have it. So I could combine the chanderelles. Chanderelles with um, with high quality air and make uh, make nether swap. Uh, from the clay, do I have some high quality earth? Yes, I do. So let's combine that one with um, with the clay to make some earth earthquake scrolls, which will be kind of a. I'm I'm not going to use the earth damage, but uh, if I have taken the physical armor, this this could be my mass knockdown if uh, if I would happen to need it. So now we have those as backups. Uh, what else to craft? Uh, have I already crafted incense steins and shadow essence for the infects? No, I hadn't. That's a new one. That is a new one. So with the scrolls, you can sometimes cast stuff quicker or you have something on cooldown. Cool down, and you need to cast some spell twice, so it's good to good to be prepared with those. Um, I think the glow works with fire essence as well for the haste. So let's make that. And then what else? I, with I and shadow essence, I can make, I can make some decaying touch. This is actually quite a useful one in the early game because it's a, it's a single action point scroll that you can use for some, uh, for some decent, decent physical damage. Okay, what else? Uh, I'm getting these recipes, so then I can easily, easily check my, uh, check my recipes after that. The normal rat tails do give me, do get, give me tentacle lash if I have some life essence. Yes, I do. So let's take those. A little bit of crowd control if I have happen to need it. Mm. Okay, I think nothing else there. I already did the clay. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, with the earth essences, I can make the tremor grenades. Let me, um, let me check the recipes now. So I could make more tremor grenades, that's fine, we can keep those. I have already plenty, so I, I don't need any more of those at the moment. Um, scrolls. Uh, haste is one of my priorities because uh, with the haste scroll enough of these, I could actually take the haste of my uh, of my skills. Uh, let's make one more of the earthquake ones. The infect ones might come in handy. So, and I've been uh, this 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 was probably the only one I remembered. So I've been collecting intestines and saving 
saving them and uh, there's plenty of shadow essence because you get this one from almost all the void falcons. And now uh, let's make one more, one more skin craft just in case I want to actually do some crazy, crazy shenanigans with that. Mm. Okay. Shame I had to leave the stone garden so behind. So another check. I, I didn't so check for bones. Graves. So if we actually had some bones here, there is a lock here, so I could have that for wood source. But we are right now. Right now, short on the um, short on the um, pixie dust, really. Be on your way now, my dear. Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss. Quickly, uh, quickly checking the merchants, merchants, and then now uh, I think I will just leave it. We, uh, if I had remembered to do this over time, as we were in Act Two. I could have probably gotten all of the runes for the Act 3, but it doesn't really matter, we are, but I'm doing low we are powerful too. enough I'll as, uh, as is, so arts. yeah, only the superior for sale, only superior for sale. Um, he doesn't have any bone, which I could have used. So let me, uh, let me check the guy in here. And then uh, I think one last check I will do, I will check the Driftwood Town. Is there some uh, some stuff lying, uh, lying to around? To your own nightmares I pray you tend. Amid smoke and shadow, I must foster my own. So yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, that, that is something, something Lorian didn't really think about. Think about that uh, if you have these uh, kind of different tiers of crafting that you still, if you are going to craft, you still need them throughout the game. And then the merchants stop selling that stuff. Um, so clever hidden key there. Sweep zones while I while I can. Sure if there's anything anything special in those. Yeah, nothing uh nothing really here. So let's check the drift driftwood square still. Is there um is there anything in the fishery for me to pick up? One last check. All oh, right, and uh, it's, uh, I will go collect go collect some honey. That's I will. That's I will do. And actually, with uh, with most of the things, because almost all the NPCs Back actually off, tr actually trade something. You could uh, you could check Where's almost everyone for for if things. Oh, lose it all. I was checking if they would have would have had some fish bones, but I didn't see any, so I'll just go without. Okay, I, will, I will go get honey, but then uh, then I think we'll uh, we can leave. But yeah, with uh, with the runes, it is actually. If I'm really unlucky, I will be will actually be short of runes because uh, if I don't find enough uh, don't find enough stardusts and bone dusts. Because one thing I could do just go go do a quick quick walk about to see if there's if there's actually some st stardust stardust herb, herbs to be collected because. Uh, that uh, might uh, might be uh, beneficial as well. Okay, so you have these beehives here uh, around around the places, and uh, if you just uh, combine combine this one with uh, 
combine this with the beehive you can actually create as much honey as you can and the jar of honey uh, when you use it you actually get uh, get uh, empty jar back so you can uh, for any recipe that requires honey like the charm grenades or charm arrowheads you can continuously keep on crafting those uh, I took the honeys I took the honeys mostly because they buff intelligence so at some point if I want to see just how far I can uh, I can take my uh, take my intelligence I can have it have that with honeys then Okay, so yeah, I think I think I will have a walk around and see uh, see if I can find any runes. Runes, there's not much else for me to need to do while I'm here. I think this is the last time I will visit this source source place, but uh, just in case I get get to a fight, which I shouldn't because I have killed everyone, I will leave this here and uh, come uh, come get the source still. Let's have a look here if there's something here I could pick up. Not really. Apart from the wooden figurine, which does uh, does work for me if I find some uh, no bones. Yeah, don't see any bones. Sounds sounds rather weird that the necromancer has inadequate stock of bone dust. Yes, I have uh, I have failed. I have failed as a necromancer. I've not been collecting bones. Okay, let's uh, let's do a very very quick uh, herb collecting. As I said, because of the limitations. Limitations of the merchants not selling me the lower lower level stuff. The only chance for me to get stardust is actually by collecting it myself. Someone has lost a purse. How how would how would you see this purse if you didn't use the alternate view? <laughs> yeah, this uh, this game is this basically designed to be using the alternate view, so you actually. Actually, see the yeah, that is uh, that is pretty cleverly hidden. Okay, but let's uh, let's keep on looking for. Actually, do these guys have bones? They do have skulls. I can do. I think I can do a skull. I think I can do a shadow essence craft with that. Four. Four shackles of pain. Okay, it needs to be a normal skull against the ancient. Ancient one doesn't work. There is a squirrel somewhere in there. There's a skeleton right here and we can't get any bone out of it. There's Fluffball... Fluffball the Vapid here. <laughs> that is such a cool name. Uh, yeah, this, this game is this game is fantastic. Uh, this is where I killed all the, all the bears. Did I leave something unlooted there? Something important? No. Well, with the raw... With uh, raw meat, I could actually create uh, actually create some bloated corpse scrolls if I wanted. Okay, let's check. Stardust is pretty rare, so actually just uh, finding it by uh, what I should have done is just uh, just pick it up as I was uh, as I was walking about. So 
hoping these guys would have had some bone, but uh, why why would a skeleton actually have any bone? I don't care about that. So that would be that would be too logical. Uh, Colosseras, I don't need. This augments are here. I think I can find find summons act free, but I'm not sure. So I will uh, I will do this quick uh, quick run around. There is a skull there. Good check for the stardusts. Oh, these guys actually have uh, has some loot here. Interesting. Hey, there's a bone. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well worth it. A success. Now, now we do need, do need a new, new uh, frame of power, but we will be getting that from uh, from Tarkin. When he renews his inventory, either by the hour, either by the hour, or uh, when we level up, so that's uh, that's good. Let's um, let me go around. Hey, there, Tony. Wanted to stop and say hi. You've been on vacation. I hope you have enjoyed your vacation. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by and. Uh, it's good to uh, good to see you here. I guess this will. Uh, we have some black roots here. Good. That's also. So I mean we get some other, other interesting uh, herbs here. So I guess this will uh, this will double us. Uh, get some uh, collect some herbs around uh, around the Reaper's coast. See, so yeah, of course, the easy easy way would be to look look up some. Uh, there's probably some some guide or map. That you could look at, look at to uh, where where all the stardust herbs are. Hey, another bone, nice. Yeah, again something. If I if I had thought about it, I would have uh, I would have just been collecting all the all the bones, all the stardust herbs as I was going going through the game. But uh, started thinking about the runes here at the end of Act Two. Not before, sadly. So because of that, I uh, I have actually left some bones around, which uh, is good that I came to check. These are all also also good crafting ingredients. So I, I left these here as useless. So I guess the lesson is just just pick up everything. So I must pick up everything every time. Uh, okay, around. Okay, let's go. Let's go check. 
here, around this area. But black root plants, what do we have? Do we have anything else? Tamadu Vira is not that interesting. Hey, found one. Walk, walk around the map was worth it just because of that one, one Stardust Earth. That uh, might, might mean an extra rune for me in the end, which will turn into extra plus three intelligence over time. So, very nice. Check this side. Ah, this is a Trolls. Trolls Bridge, I don't think I actually looted these ones. So, let me, uh, let me get these guys as well for the crafting ingredients. In case they, in case they have something. I don't think ingredients grow in this one, so when you when you pick it up it's gone. And I guess always always in the same place. Stardust is quite rare, so let's go let's go see if we actually had some here. that because uh, us elves might sometimes get some skills from those. Uh, okay, let's check this side and then, uh, then we'll go check the Paradise Downs. Paradise Downs and then we'll here, probably be... It was a oh, I actually, I actually wasn't... Uh, I didn't visit this place before, did I? Check, uh, check Paradise Downs. Hey, Stardust Herb right away in there. Beautiful. Another one. It might be... It might be so rare that it's kind of like one, one per region kind of thing. So maybe I should check close, close to all the locations. Do you have incest anything special in your house? Checked uh, black beat skates. Okay, nothing special there. Let's check the stone garden. Stone garden for the for the herbs. What's this? I found something. Uh, the print of the statue bears a ah right this was uh, you can actually you can actually find uh, the statue rotates with find a head somewhere in here and it opens that's one but uh, I think there was not uh, not any any too special oh there is actually is level well, let's do it while while we're here I kind of forgot about this so let's get this uh, let's get this head where is there it is. Again, I don't know how you are supposed to find that without alternate view, but anyway. So a little bit of a mini puzzle here, not related, related to any, any quests. 
the head is statue when, uh, when you repair this with uh, with the head uh, it actually actually opens this one and I guess you get something out of this well this this might actually be a leveled up no it's not it's not leveled leveled stuff so okay but let's uh, let's walk around let's make sure we didn't miss any stardust herbs here. There could there be something somewhere else? There could be. No, I think I think that's about that's about it. Maybe maybe double check here. Uh, this I checked. Double check near the fields. If we go like directly south from here, we could. Uh, could check the meadows. Meadows area here. I think there is achievements if you prey on all of these altars because they are they are not they are not marked in any uh, any of the maps. Uh, I don't know if but a uh, all to the air stirs. A voice while God a jolting the whispers. So uh, if you if you do this, I guess it's the actually it's a eternal promise. So in here you, you collect them here in the chronicles if uh, if you decide to do that. Okay, but let's check the elven elven side for if I could find one more one more stardust, I'd be super happy. Also, I didn't loot Blueberry there. It was a mistake because. Beaver did have a source orb. Check the uh, check the elves here who I who I already murdered. The scenery in this game is fantastic and the music is fantastic. It is indeed. Sometimes, sometimes it almost kind of, it's a shame that you can't zoom any further than this. And uh, you can't, you can't like pan up and look at, uh, look at scenery apart from uh, what you see when you, when you walk around. Okay, let's check this side. Where am I on the map? I could go check that area still. So let's uh, let's continue north and let's check this path for for the last pieces of stardust and then uh, then uh, then we can go. Hey, nice. Good find. One more stardust there, so... Well, there was one... There was a second one here in Paradise Downs. There might be more in the Paradise Downs because it's quite a difficult place to travel. So would not be... So that's already free, which is great. Again, if I had been smart, thinking ahead, I would have been buying... I've been buying the Stardust her herbs when the, when the merchants were still selling them, because at that point it's basically infinite. As long as you just uh, buy them on each level up or even just wait for that hour and uh, just buy them then. Okay, I was here already. I didn't mean to actually come here. What I meant to do was go... Go over here, I guess. One last checks for for the herbs. Okay, this actually looks good. High quality augmenter, so we have some higher level stuff here. And 
this is uh, this is where I this is where I killed the uh, harbinger of doom. Check the check the northern parts still here for uh, for the herbs and then uh, then I think we have looked for most of them. All right, and now I did not trade with these merchants. I did accident accidentally kill one of them. I guess they could still trade with me. Didn't, e didn't even check what they were selling. Yeah, they are. They are not too happy with me. Uh, just a superior one. Mystical. Does have bone dust, but bone dust is... Hmm. Okay, will you, will you trade with me? Okay, how about you take... Say you'll take like 300. Okay, another... Another 50, so, so that he's willing to trade with me. Because I, I killed his friend, he's not too happy. But with a little bit of money, I uh, get his relations back up, so then, uh, then he's willing to trade with me. That's one. Okay. Uh, he's selling a piece of mind scroll as well. He's selling haste scrolls. He's selling to bone dusts. They might some some just straight up be selling to flame rune. So this whole thing I did might have actually been for nothing. <laughs> oh, it would have been much more convenient for me to just buy the flame runes. But uh, I guess for complete <laughs> completion's sake, I'm kind of happy that I still did it. Um, yeah, so let's buy those. I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't kill the one merchant who was actually selling the flame runes. <laughs> did I loot this guy? Yes, I did. Okay, he's not too happy either. Uh, I think I will still. I have so much money that it doesn't doesn't really matter. So let's uh, let's make him my friend as well. Let's get honey. Uh, he doesn't have anything else I need really. So let's get that. Okay, but I think I think that is it. Gone through, gone through all the places, but because this took some time, and the merchants, and the merchants, uh, sometimes they refresh their inventories, part of it every hour. Let's um, let's double check, double check Say if we have no uh, one, but I'm doing low received up some too. new things I'll here. I'll be helping the pallies here with their uprising in art. We actually did. This guy, this guy did, did get some new stuff. So that is great. Fire essence. It's alien essence I don't really need. Uh, okay, but what I what I would really like is the normal Pixie Dust and as, as said, he just doesn't sell it anymore. Uh, but yeah, those are fine. So one more, one more round through these guys. Let's check the... Check the under tavern guy as well. So, uh, probably, probably about fifteen minutes of this, and then, uh, then we can actually your go. Own nightmares, I pray you actually go into the uh, into the act three. I must foster my own. Uh, okay, he doesn't have anything that interests me. Nope. And then check the square. Keeping it together. Glad to see you well. Just have the mystical ones. Smells worse 
Who, who the heck sells the flame rooms here? That's that's my question. I almost feel like I, I should check that. Because that would be that would be pretty useful information. Yeah, that's, uh... later that. Back for a return visit, are you? Yeah, because I, I haven't seen the flame runes. Flame yep, runes on yep. any, any one of these guys. Okay, but let's uh let's get in here. Let's pick that up. Let's get the last runes done. So let's do the bone dusts. Let's do the star dusts. Let's do the pixie dusts. So let's, let's just build one first. And then we can make a medium one. Yeah. Shame I had to leave the stone garden behind. I feel so at home among the graves. Okay, another, fr another frame with scrites. Even you don't sell it. I have a I have a feeling that I have killed the merchant who sells the flame rooms. Grave mistake. Uh, yeah, so so fine. Okay, but that is that is another another plus free intelligence for me. So I'm happy with that. Let's put it. Let's put it here. So that puts me at 65 unboosted already. How many slots do I still have? Still two slots. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Be on your so way, many slots. Dear. Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss again later. But I think... Uh, I think that is enough already. That was all, all quite a lot of extra. Extra to begin with. Just put the claws there. Not sure if I, if I need fangs or not. Hey, Sir Lock! Sir sure lurks a lot. Thanks, uh, thanks for the follow and enjoy the lurking. Nice, uh, nice username. Okay, so we are we are very much very much ready. So up to this point, if you for some reason joined joined this run now and you haven't seen the previous Saturdays. In this, in this one I'm playing as a solo necromancer um, and I've been doing almost everything in Act 1 uh, as far as killing all the NPCs, all the quests, but then absolutely everything in Act 2 which has taken me to level 17 before even leaving Act 2 and we will hit level 18 almost immediately after we hit, go to the Act 3 but uh, before I leave, I will check. I will check. Um, who sells? Who sells the flame rooms? If. Uh, Apparently it is random. It is random in... For example, what rooms Tarkin has. Thanks Elwark for reminding, I will go get the red, red pyramid. Okay. Good 
reminder. Hmm. The All destination right. pyramid doesn't ask. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. So let's take all of all of those with us. I think ten uh, ten I am absolutely absolutely done. So as far as the exp maximum experience at this stage of the game, because I didn't do I um, before in the Act One my original plan was just to get to level nine before I leave the island, and that re didn't require everything. So there's probably some thousands of experience I'm missing from the absolute maximum, but uh, I, I should be should be pretty close to that. So this is... Um, this is the end of the Act 2. Actually, because that's a that's a proper proper segment. Segment. I will take a very quick break. I will fill my uh, I got my coffee coffee down, so I will fill my cup with water. So I'll uh, I'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes. Couple of minutes, and then uh, then we'll go to the act f uh, act three. Yeah, the the timer is not completely accurate um, completely accurate because I have been standing around a bit but it's actually not that far from it but um, part of that is because I I didn't know all the places but also when you do absolutely everything and uh, some of those fights I had to do many times because I uh, well, actually, it doesn't go on it on that time, so the playtime might actually be even even longer than that. I need to check the playlist for the for the actual counts, because uh, I had to I had to redo many of the fights in order to squeeze that uh, maximum experience way. So then I have of course loaded the save, and I think that uh, that doesn't count the playtime, but uh, in total, apart from that save, actually. Anyway. But yeah, I will have a short break. Let's go to the Act 3. I will uh, get my water cup and uh, then we can go. So see you guys in, uh, in just a bit.